are back in black in the building. Shout out to everybody out there at the Core Plantation doing what they need to do. We back. Man, shout out to everyone out there having their own way of thinking and trying to have their own ideological constructs when it deals with the system of racism, white supremacy, and establishing the system of justice. Shout out to everybody out there. David No Compromise, James John Blood, David, Shawnee, Erica, Tasha, all y'all out there, man. Hey, man, we got something that's near and dear to my heart. <laughs> uh, having the wrong identity. Man, we gonna talk about your boy, Don Lemon. We gonna talk about how it is to identify as one thing, but still get treated like a nigga. So, let's get into it. Hey. Man, 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 man. Here, let's play this. Your boy been buck dancing and doing all this sucker shit for the dominant society. So, let's see what happens. I'm very interested to see what the hell is going on. A big development today at our own network, CNN, parting ways with anchor Don Lemon. Another stunning uh, announcement. Uh, this comes earlier today. This came actually uh, in an email to CNN staffers from ah. CEO Chris Licht over at CNN. I'll read you what he said in his email. He said, CNN and Don have parted ways. Don will forever be a part of the CNN family. And we thank him for his contributions over the kind of not if you parted ways. Past 17 years, and it goes on. Uh, but Don Lemon came out, and he was more explicit. He said that the network had fired him, and then he uh, really lashed out and said that uh, um, he was hoping that someone in management would have had the decency to tell him directly about this um, <laughs> about this uh, firing. And uh, CNN PR then put out a statement separately saying that what Don Lemon had said. Uh, was not accurate that Don Lemon did have the opportunity to meet with management. So there's a back and forth playing out over there at CNN uh, in public as well. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Fallon, one of the oh, few TV personalities who's still employed. Yeah, we don't give a fuck about no Jimmy Fallon. Oh, man. Cut the music back home. All right, let, let's get into it. Let's get into it. First of all, this is what happens when you identify as a, the LBGTQ, thinking that you're for some sort of reason gonna get more Hansel and Gretel crumbs than the average black person who just identifies as black. See? Now, where is the LBGTQ, element OP, XYZ, where are they at now? Why didn't I have up an uproar about, you know, the discomfort and firing of Don Lemon, who's black and a part of the LBGTQ, because they don't give a fuck. And motherfuckers be identifying as that shit first and not as they racial group. And then when they get treated like they racial group, then you want to be storming up and acting the fool and yelling and screaming. That's what you get. This is not how it works. You can try to identify as a different racial group or a part of another group all you want, but they're only going to see you in the eyes of how they view you. So it doesn't matter. And let that be a lesson to everybody else, too. When you go on these corporate plantations, don't get the bucking your eyes and buck dancing and doing all this bullshit. And then when it don't work out for you, then you want to scream, oh, you know, fucking white people and all that. Because, you know, niggas is prone for doing that shit. They love the motherfuckers when they up in them damn corporate plantations. And as soon as they get done wrong, they start tripping and talking shit. No, motherfucker. That's what it is. You know what I mean? Shout out to David too, man. I was thinking about what you know what he had said. A lot of the uh, uh, his thoughts on the freak Nick thing and the thing. You know another person who likes to buck their eyes do that. Mark Lemoyst Hill. You know he always got some shit to say about black men. Those type of niggas. No, sorry, I just don't even fuck with them because to me you are doing the devil's dirty work. You know what I mean? And 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 you're doing it for no reason because you're not even really getting paid because they don't really fuck with you like that either. It's like everybody is jockeying for position to be the biggest Sambo. You know what I mean? They need to make that. Who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a Sambo? Straight up. Because it's like, damn. You look at this stuff and you look at Don Lemon. Don Lemon, I remember when him and Talib Kweli got, in, got into it. And Talib Kweli, for the most part, kind of checked his ass because He's like, dude, you don't even know my name, bro. You out here reporting disinformation. 
Y'all gotta understand, he work for them people. That's why he doing that. And we have to understand this too, man. Hey, shit is not over. You know, if you look at the U.S. job market, you see Bed Bath & Beyond is the fuck up out of here. <laughs> Bed Bath and get the fuck out. <laughs> Bed Bath and you beyond this motherfucker. <laughs> You know what I mean? Everything is taking place. Interest rates are going to start dropping. You know, and everybody needs to take stock and inventory in this. So if you're looking on purchasing a home or buying a property, now's your time to start looking because things are about to become scarce. And if you're in the city of Las Vegas, if you're in Las Vegas, Nevada, we don't have no farms. I have shit. They drive the food in. We don't know what the fuck they doing. So we have to have an understanding and stop getting on these core plantations and disassociate yourself with your people and then smiling with everybody else and thinking that they gonna have your back and then when they let your ass go, now you all pissed off. Let's see, I'm gonna read this article. U.S. customer confidence worsened in April as Americans become more pessimistic about the job market. The Conference Board Consumer Confidence Index, which measures at attitudes towards the economy and the economy and the job market fell to 101.3 in April, down from 104 in March and marking the lowest level since July 2022. The business group's measure of economic expectations fell in April and has remained below a threshold associated with a recession within the next year for every month since February 2022, with the exception of an uptick in December. Consumer attitudes have held steady since the turbulence in the banking industry last month, but high inflation and economic uncertainty have continued to weigh on consumers. Consumers became more pessimistic about the outlook for both business conditions and labor markets, said Ottoman, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, it's something crazy, Senior of Director of Economics at the Conference Board in a statement accompanying the data compared to last month, fewer households expect business conditions to improve and more expected worsening of the conditions in the next six months. They also expect fewer jobs to be available over the short term. That matches government's figures showing the labor market has begun to show some cracks. Employers added 236,000 jobs in March, the smallest gain in two years, and jobs opening fell below 10 million for the first time since May 2021. Large companies have continued to announce layoffs, such as 3 million, which announced 3M, which announced on Tuesday that it is cutting 6,000 jobs. The April survey shows that worries about the economy slipping into a recession persisted last month. Economists, including those at the Federal Reserve, y'all know who they are, expect a recession later in the year as the Fed's rate hikes take a deeper hold. The share of consumers expecting more jobs to be available fell to 12.5% in April, down from 15.5% in March, while the share who anticipate fewer jobs increased to 21% from 20.5% during the same period. Expectations seek signal weaker consumption, but not a disaster. So basically, why Las Vegas, Nevada is getting another sports team, ain't gonna be no jobs. <laughs> So let's go with that. So y'all can take that how y'all want. I'm just letting y'all know these people don't fuck with y'all. And y'all can think what y'all want. Y'all can buck and coon and do whatever the hell y'all want to do. But it's not going to take away the fact that the United States of America Incorporated will protect which matters most. You don't matter most. You're just a number. A docket on the court. You know what I mean? No one cares about that. Nobody cares about little old you. You're just a worker bee, even if that. And we have to understand that. And we have to start having more discernment when we are dealing with each other and these corporate plantations and understanding what's going on. Stop classifying and identifying this stuff because you think the dominant society are like it and then when they get rid of your ass, now you pissed off for talking shit. Oh well, you went with it. Those are just things that I feel like we need to deal with. You know, it's so funny, man, because had this AC people come out, just look at the job. Everybody's hustling everybody. You know what I'm saying? They come out, they're supposed to just do, you know, clean the coils and stuff. This motherfucker come out trying to 
sell less new ducks. And I, man, get the fuck up out of here. Just do what you're supposed to be doing. Everybody's just trying to hustle everybody. That's why, man, it's just everybody be trying to hustle everybody. You know, even though I make the CMOS and stuff, you know, do stuff like that. Some of the stories I hear about people in the CMOS, I just be like, man, y'all running game on people. Overcharging people, not making the product right. It's just everybody is trying to gain success, but at what speed and who are you willing to step on and step over and prostitute your integrity to get there? And it's like, God, leave, man. Some people just don't have, I would say, integrity in who they are. You know what I mean? And, and I think that it's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to have a more of a clarity when we're dealing with each other. And let's sit down and have positive communication with each other. And let's not do the four wall effect that as Nelly Fuller Jr. talks about. We just get together and talk about a bunch of bullshit and complain, but we don't have no resolutions to any of these problems. Here's my resolution. You start a business, have a competitive wage, but undercut the market. You know what I mean? That's one way to get your name out there, undercut the market and do what you need to do. And we have to be more about business. And look, let me tell you something. If you believe in the business wholeheartedly and you handling business, do what you need to do. Don't take nobody else's opinion because nobody else's opinion matters if you are focused on what you need to be focused on. And I think sometimes we lose focus as a people because we're so consumed with too much negative data that's plopped in front of our face every five minutes. That's the only thing I don't like about my news feed. I get all these negative stories about rappers and, you know, you got to siphon through you know, and have discernment about what you really, really want to pay attention to. Because a lot of this shit is just bullshit. You know what I mean? Understand when people are trying to run game. It's just because they're trying to run game. When you start a business, that don't mean you run game on people. You just do what you need to do. That's all it is. Don Lemon's biggest fault was he identified as the LBGTQ and not as a black man in the context of, hey, I might be a part of that community. But I love my people. And if y'all doing some bogus shit to my people, I'm going to call it out. And I get it. You can't call it out because you do work for an institution. And you do have a boss. So you have to tread lightly. And I understand that. But those are the things. You can't not know that eventually they'll cut ties when they don't want to be bothered with you. And they'll probably just have another moist brother on TV to replace you. Know who you are. That's what I said. Having the wrong identity. Know who you are. I tell people that, all the, hey, you are black first before you anything else, because that's what they're going to see you as in the terms of Jay-Z on the, the 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 album 444, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. <laughs> okay, nigga. But hey, man, y'all know what it is. You know what it ain't. <clears throat> Life is about moving forward. Sometimes you got to move aside to move ahead. Life is not about arguing about things that don't matter. We do a lot of time wasting. Let's discuss things that matter and have resolutions to these problems. Shout out to everybody out there. Y'all know it is. I be born one G in place B. Been clowning sucker free since 2003. Y'all know what I'm hit y'all with. And the great saying in slavery by another name. Guilty nigga. I'm out. Peace. Peace.